I didn't know it was that pathetic. Like I knew that they were using Mike Morris as like the third mic, but usually third mic talks a little, right? Right. Well, to. then again, it's like, I mean, I'm not defending anyone, but like, uh, it's like a three hour show, let's say two hours. Like, yeah, there's but times say I don't talk. For the, for the first I'm, hour, I'm on your podcast and there's minutes at a time. I don't say anything. So, right, right, right. I was just playing a clip of Chad talking and you, you insisted on talking over it when you could have just waited like a professional and then you could have talked for hours. But instead you're like, let me talk over the clip. Uh, so you, so your, your, your argument is stupid because nobody <laughs> sits there and doesn't talk for hours at a time or minutes at a time. Nobody does that. So this guy is, he's got men, he's, he's mentally ill. You know, Shuli's a hack and I'll get to that later when I'm drunker. Listen, we, we should address a couple of topics now that uh, now a new Ja has brought him up. Chad, uh, uh, bet Pat Dixon. Uh, you want to talk about? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, I, I know. Eight hundred bucks. I saw that. Yeah. So I was yeah I was I was busy today. I was scrolling through Twitter and uh, I saw where Chad uh, challenged uh, Mr. Pat Dixon eight hundred dollars to prove that he has ever been on any other show besides MLC. And quickly, and I mean quickly. No, no, no. It, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. He, no, Chad thing was Pat said something on MLC yesterday that he's he didn't not, care for Chad because yeah, Chad was weird. Yeah. Uh, Chad did his show and he was normal before the show. The during the show, he was weird. And so Pat's like, yeah, no, thank you. And Chad was like, I'll give you $800 if you can prove that I ever did your show. And then somebody Correct. got the picture and then Chad's he, like, well, he never agreed to the bet. He, he never, he never confirmed uh, it. Well, no, no, Chad. Uh, and, uh, to your, to your left, there is uh, another comedian, Chad Zumach. Hey, Chad, how are you? You are Matt Dixon a friend of, uh, a good friend of, uh, the full charge, Matt Fultron, the full charge he has the full charge power hour Power hour on iTunes that is a very fun show. He does a good, great job. My name's Chad Zumach. I have a podcast called sit down Zumach podcast. I'm from Ohio. He's from Ohio. Shit's happening. We are a swing state. We make shit happen. Pat Dixon. Right. Okay. All right. You, you, you heard it here first. Ohio is a place. There's a lot of weird shit happening. That is unacceptable. Yeah. Zumach. <laughs> that is so Ohio of you. That is just. Uh, let's uh, first look at some shocking video. What do you say? Prepare to be shocked. Mm. It, well, no, no. Chad said no, no, Pat I have no memory out, of this. Yeah, Chad put out like, um, "Are you going to send it to me on Venmo? You want my PayPal? <laughs> just before or after?" Like, yeah. No, pa Pat, Chad, like, so Chad into thought it, he was so like, right. Like Chad yeah. was like, hey, I'm, no, Pat I can't Dixon wait leaned to get this 800. It. Wait, yeah, don't no, talk no, the Pat, same time. Pat Who leaned did. into it? Pat Dixon did. Pat Dixon's like, okay, so you're going to send me the 800 like Venmo or? He's no, like, he was uh, half joking. He was half joking. Yeah, because yeah. Pat Pat already knew because it was Pat's show that Chad had done in the past on Compound. And so somebody found the picture of it and the actual clip, posted it, and then Chad came back and goes, I have no memory of this. And that was the last thing that was said. Yeah, Chad's like, I have no memory of this. So the bet <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah, matter. but the bet doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> yeah. No, he no, first he goes, I I never uh Pat never uh accepted this bet. And, I, I and didn't he, see that. I only know it from Chad's deleted tweets, who puts up all Chad's deleted Yeah, that guy's a genius. I got to give him a shout out. I got to give him a shout out. Chad's deleted tweets. No, this it's guy's awesome. a genius. Because he catches every genius. single one of them. Like, he's he getting every notification. <laughs> no, this guy's a genius. I got to give, give two shout outs, even though it's going to slow down the super chats. Um, That's okay. We have all the time in the World Cup. Oh, here's the thing. You did it 2 a.m. last week. This is what happened. He never took me up on the bet. He never said, agreed. Oh. He said, it wasn't a bet, you Shut idiot. up, Ray. After the YouTube cut, and I said 800 straight up, and he never agreed to it. And then someone produced the video that I actually was on Pat Dixon's show at Compound Media. And I got to tell you, it's not a good sign when I had 
zero recollection of the time I was on Pat's show. Zero. I don't remember it at all. But I clearly was. I clearly was on Pat Dixon's show, and I don't remember any of it. Not a moment in my mind. I don't remember the two guys I was on with. I don't remember any of it. He's hammered. I can't even tell you. I looked at it. I go, clearly me. But I don't remember that day. So that's Pat's fault because he doesn't remember. All right. But I will say this. Thank you for being here, Chad. I appreciate it. No, I appreciate you having me on, Pat. I'm a big fan. I've known about your comedy for a long time. I've known about you since I started comedy. I feel like you're about to fucking reveal a master plan to murder me. No. (laughs) 2005, I I, I got on my... But I remember hearing Pat Dixon's name for a long, long time. I'm the kind of guy you can hear of for a long time and then never really (laughs) hear anything by them or anything. I am right under that fucking radar. Well, also, it wasn't even a bet. He came up out of the blue and said, I will give... He didn't exactly. say, hey, is Thank this a you, bet? Ray. He came out and said, I will give you. He didn't say, hey, is this a bet? You I'll bet take you. It? And he said, you're right. Pat Dixon's just sitting there, and he came out of nowhere, and he's like, I will give you. Pat Dixon said this about me. I I will give you $800. Not Everybody, it's going to be a great I summer. Ray, give, you're, you're 100% correct on this. I will give you uh, $800 yes. if I've ever done any podcasts with you other than MLC. And it's like, boom, proof. proof. It wasn't like... And Pat's Chats just sitting there laughing. He's like, I yeah. know you did my show at but, Compound. But at no point was it like, I bet you that I did it. And Pat's like, I don't know. Let's see if we can find the footage. But I bet you. Yeah, it if, wasn't a bet. Because if, if you're right, I owe you 800 Like, no. He's like, I will okay. give you. He's like, and I then Chad, And then Chad said he never accepted it. But right. it wasn't a bet. It wasn't a bet, Kevin. It wasn't he goes, a, I, I will give I'm you the trying money. trying to okay, calm down. I'm saying... The same thing you saying. It wasn't a bet. Chad no. said he would give him eight hundred dollars, yeah. and it, then now Chad's going. I have no memory of that, so the 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 bet is null and void. But it or, was or, never or, a bet. Or, or the money I guaranteed somebody was null and void. Anyway, everyone go to Oil Can Loser <laughs> on on Twitter. Uh, it's Chad's deleted tweets at it's, it's Oil an awesome Can. Power. Ray, you got to learn how to shut the fuck up. At Oil Can Loser, uh, this guy's great. He does all Chad's deleted tweets. I actually asked him for a deleted tweet from Mother's Day, and he got right back to me. Also, Drunken. Oh, all right. This, you want me to read along. the? You want me to read the tweet? The official Chad Zumach. Yeah. Dixon and well, let me give this other guy a shout out. Drunk. Okay. At at drunk on cringe, one word. At drunk on cringe, this guy. I discovered this. Yeah, life. I just followed him today. He, he uh, he's I, been posting some good stuff. No, what they do is um they 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 clip Mike Morse. Yeah, yeah. The what they do one uh the two minute Mike Morse clip. They do two minute Mike Morse. I didn't know Mike Morse was like autistic or or mute or or whatever the fuck he is. <laughs> Like, I had no idea. So Mike Morris, I guess, doesn't talk. And um, so what they do is, I'll read the first one. Uh, my new show, Mike Morris Watch, episode one. We basically just focus for two minutes on Mike and his great contributions for the Shuli shows. The, shit, the clip is completely picked by random, but a guaranteed hit. Follow this guy because the Mike Morris show is... They do. They just take random two-minute clips of Mike Morris on any of their shitty shows that they have, and Mike Morris just—he doesn't talk. What he does, he he, he sets up. He sets up an algorithm where uh, it it basically just clips Mike Morris for two minutes out of any part of the show, and gives it to him, and it's just he doesn't talk. So he might go ha ha, or like yeah. Yeah, he he, he laughs. He goes yeah, you know. He's like, so I didn't so know that I didn't know it was that pathetic. Like I knew that they're using Mike Morris as like the third mic, but usually third mic talks a little, right? Right. Well, to. then again, it's like, I mean, I'm not defending anyone, but like, uh, it's like a 
three hour show, let's say two hours. Like, yeah, there's but you didn't say anything for the, for the first I'm, hour. I'm on your podcast and there's minutes at a time. I don't say anything. So, right, right, right. I was just playing a clip of Chad talking and you, you insisted on talking over it when you could have just waited like a professional and then you could have talked for hours. But instead, you're like, let me talk over the clip. Uh, so you, so you're, you're, your argument is stupid because nobody <laughs> sits there and doesn't talk for hours at a time or minutes at a time. Nobody does that. So this guy is, he's got men, he's, he's mentally ill. You know, Shuli's a hack and I'll get to that later when I'm drunker. But, but uh, the fact that they act like this Mike Morse is something is really pathetic, but that's your network. Uh, I mean, my take on it, it looks Ray. like uh, I watched both of the uh, Mike Morse clips it looks like he doesn't want to be there, and he and it looks like fake laughter to me. If you if you go back and watch the clips, it looks like he's just saying, ha, 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 ha. "Yeah, yeah." It's <laughs> it's it's weird. Yeah. It's weird because they podcast all fucking day. Like now that Levy uh, quit this show, uh, you guys gotta him, make up. You gotta make up. They're gonna they're gonna give him more shows. They're gonna give him like out of the coffin. But they, they podcast like, you know, they're doing this, the uh, Steel Toe model, which is basically podcast all day. Uh, he does seven hours a day, Steel Toe. People and, get tired I, of it. No, but that's what Shuli's doing. And it's like, after a while, people aren't going to watch because they know, they know it's, nobody can do seven hours. So, so, and plus you can watch when it, you can turn it on whatever you want because it's always fucking on. So. Right. So it, it it's it's bizarre it's fucking bizarre. But they well, not just, only that, and, Kev, it's always it's always fucking on, and they're always talking about the same shit. Yeah, they we're talking about three hours beforehand. So Shuli like, thinks you know Shuli thinks this Shuli thinks this thing this strategy is like no, we'll just never we'll we'll have no, they, Bob Levy talking they, constantly, and that's going to pay off. But but it's it's not because people you can't just give people con uh, like non-stop content because after a while they just are like what the fuck is this even right no i think they're looking for more shows i think that's what we're trying to do who's weird you're now we're I'm weird part of, i'm part of the network too yeah they're looking like, for more shows they're looking for more shows of bob levy they get yeah. enough show there's enough shows bob's got network. five shows on a network now well they don't all have to be like i think they're looking for like other other shows like other potential comedians. Where, Ray, Ray, where, Ray, why don't you where? focus as, on your own show? I do. I'm also on that network too. Uh, okay, so focus on your show if you want to be on the network, right. not the but network. But like they they liked Elise who did my podcast, and I, Elise and them were talking about possibly doing a podcast. Who's Elise? Also, we're gonna add the girl Elise, show? Elise Edwards, the the Louis Anderson. No, she's a comedian that's in New York. Uh, City. Okay, it's not gonna. It, it doesn't matter. Nobody gives a fuck about some random podcast. Everybody has a fucking podcast. Uh, uh, while I'm on this topic, uh, my mom's starting a podcast tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <Sunday. Nice. laughs> yeah. Like, it's called I Like Neil Better. No, it's called Sundays with Mary. It's always Sundays, and it's always uh, that's my mom's name, Mary. So Sundays with Mary, and uh, everybody has a podcast, right? So nobody gives a fuck about your fucking podcast. But they think if we just put Levy on all day and all night, uh, the money's going to roll in. And and it's not. Like, after a while, people catch on. It's like, it's just it's just, just people fucking talking about nothing. Like, I talk about nothing, but I do it at a, at a <laughs> limited, <laughs> limited amount of time. Well, it comes to, you know, uh... overactive because it, they're talking about the same things on every fucking show. No, because so... it's the same guy, Ski Mask. It's like. Yeah, I know. Everybody's if me and you and Ray did eight hours a day, we would talk about the same things because it's the same right. interaction. On the, four, on the fourth hour, we would be talking about the things we talked about the first hour. It's it's getting ridiculous. That's just that's human nature. You know, if you're if you're talking if you're the same three people are going to be talking about the same same things, right. and then they and then then they even made it worse by by focusing on making about a stutterer, so they have to talk about him, and then and then. Anyway, what they did was I don't even want to talk about it because right. ass fucker four hundred. I think What's that's. What's up, uh, party people? He's calling I think, a hot dog. I think that's uh, diggity Ray's dog. girl. I think that's Ray girlfriend's uh, stripper name in Michigan. Ass fucker four hundred. It should yeah. be four thousand. 
What's up? Oh, I gotta run these fucking super chats. I was just starting to have a good time, and now I gotta run these fucking super you want chats. Want me to read this chat stuff? No, I gotta put them up. This will be the last time I ever do this. I'm gonna pay somebody to do it. Ray, yeah, high school me. to Jacksonville, Florida, like Mrs. Gulch, Wiz Oz. I'll pay to see you. That's I don't know about. Uh, yeah, I do ride my bicycle, but I don't know who this Mrs. Gulch is. She's from the Wizard of Oz. Da, 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 Mrs. Gulch. You ever see the movie? No, I, I I know the movie, but or know the story. Wait, you haven't know, seen the Wizard of Oz? I'm sure I saw it, like the Yellow Brick Road. But I well, don't like remember. a clip. You saw a clip on YouTube no, or TikTok? I'm sure I saw it when I was a little kid. How, I don't, how, I don't what do you? How do you not remember seeing it? It's like the greatest the movie of all time. The, you got the Lion, the Tin Man. I mean, I've seen it. <laughs> Right, they played it. They played on. it every year on CBS for like fifty years. I what's Levy's number? Please, somebody help me. Somebody <laughs> help me. Get him in here. Send him uh, the link. Yeah, that was funny the other day when I sent everybody when I sent it to Chad, and then he sent it to everybody. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was as soon as you said it live. I was like, oh fuck, Chad's. About and then where all these people are popping up, I'm like, oh, that's what Ian Hawk looks like because right. I actually saw their pictures. Because I can see what they look like when they're in the in the bullpen. Ray, you've never seen The Wizard of Oz. Jesus fucking no, Christ. No, I've seen Ray. it. I don't remember it. Have you ever played it? Everybody, remembers, everybody the remembers The Wizard of Oz, Ray. Everybody. It's the most memorable. The Red Shoe. Uh, Adam Sandboard, $2. I only put this guy up because he's a regular. I don't put up $2, but... Plus, I think I thought he was in Melton's uh, super chats, but I think is I think it was Adam has two hands, so it's a different Adam. Cheers for the late night MLC on my birth. Oh, my birthday weekend! All right, when's your birthday? Tell us in the. Uh, you don't have to send us another super chat. Maybe Wait, what's today? today? It's raining on the soundboard. Oh, you Maybe know what? Sixteenth today, the sixteenth. No, it's the twentieth. Oh shit! Yeah, my bad. Twenty. Right, you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> it's the twenty-first now. Yeah, 21st. Oh, man, I love the Super Chats. I, I swear to God, I would quit this. I would quit this. It's like when I used to go to strip clubs, I would go to strip clubs and I'd be like, I would be going, I'd be like, why are you going to a strip club? You're such a fucking loser. You're a nothing. Neil's better than you. And then I would go to a strip club <laughs> and I would see these beautiful women like half naked and with And then like drink, Neil's better than you. We know. Drinking. And I'm like, I'm like, no, the strip, these strip clubs are the greatest places on fucking planet earth. Dude, uh, it and, was like four or five years ago. I think it was me, my mom, Cabana King and my sister. We were bored on Christmas Eve. We were out of board games. So we were like, fuck it. Let's just go to the strip club. So as a family, we went to the strip club on Christmas Eve, and yeah, you're exactly right. It was amazing. You got Your mom tits. went? Yeah, my mom went. Oh, yeah, she was there. We were doing coke. It was fucking great. It was a fucking fantastic time. Remember doing, coke, remember doing coke with your mom, Kevin? Remember those days? Yeah, but I, and I, also I remember the Wizard of Oz, right? So shut the fuck up, all right? right. I, don't, I think I remember the, the Yellow Brick Road. Jeez, I've never heard anybody say that. Uh, strip clubs are, are incredible places, and they people are, are always – People always like. People always like. Uh, no, I don't. I'm not going to pay to see naked women. It's like I will. I'll sign up right here. Naked women are in, incredible. Plus, if <laughs> if like Ray, when's the last time Ray saw a naked woman? It's been it's been uh, like at least a year. And when he sees them, they're drunk and it's late and it's dark. I like to see women on a stage dancing, so I can see them in all their fucking glory. And it's right. unbelievable. Well, not not only is it that it's like when you go, it makes you feel better about yourself. You know, you you see the ladies up on stage. You're like, I could be doing that, but I'm not. But I'm here right. enjoying myself. It, it's it's like a mecca. It's like it's almost like a casino. And the fact that the time just flies by. Next thing yes. you know, it's three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, me and me and Atel used to always go on like uh, uh, Christmas Eve and uh, Thanksgiving Day because. Uh, the first time I ever went to a strip club was on Easter Sunday. No, because they the strippers feel dirty because right. they have they're to like, be there. No, because they're like, oh my god, it's Christmas Eve and I'm being a whore. But but that so you have a, like a little bit of an advantage. You have a little bit of a, advantage on them, and they're a little bit vulnerable. So that's fantastic. And this next super chat, I'm getting a little drunk, but this next super chat is fucking fantastic. Uh, Melton's meat smoking showers a hundred times more. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't like this, man. No, because I was watching Mountain Mountain Prank Call Me or whatever the fuck they call it. What do you call it when somebody fake calls you? Yeah, they, I don't they know. I've been do getting them. The other day. Yeah. At 10 o'clock, Mountain called me twice. So I was like, so I called him back and then he didn't pick up. So I was like, what the fuck is he doing? So then I go to his channel. He's live streaming. He's doing a meat smoke. He's he's like, uh, he's cooking meat. He's called the smoke show. So I thought I was going to see some hot bitches. <laughs> and, and it's just him <laughs> cooking meat. And I was like, what? So I talked to him for a minute. So that's why I love this tiff. I take a picture. I'm not going to take pictures starting on Monday. But uh, yeah, See Mountain's me Monday. smoking show. I know. I got to <laughs> fucking. It's hard to quit. Like, like Levy I quitting smoking. Funny. Kevin, you really truly are an amazing comedian, a radio genius. Bring Bob back. I'll probably have to bring him back after this show. Ski mask, keep killing it, brother. Ray, you're socially. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, they mean well, but you got to get laid. You got you to gotta prove us wrong. You can throw some legs up, dude. Yeah, throw some like, legs like, up. Like Kevin said so, the other day, you, it, whether you got to pay for it or not, you know? Yeah, if you pay for it, there's no shame in paying for it. There's I mean, not. listen, I, I didn't say it the other day. I didn't say it the other day, but I, one time I was in a slump. I lived in Queens, and I went to on Steinway. Ray, you know Steinway Street, yeah, right? I, I know that strip uh, strip club, too. No, it's not a strip club, but it was like a, it was like late. And Steinway I went, and 35th Avenue. Oh yeah, I, yeah, that was the strip club there. Yeah. Anyway, so Steinway, I, I that was when you would get like ads in the paper. So anyway, there was a Classic. there was a there was a massage place that I went to like late. I didn't have a girlfriend, whatever. I went to this uh, massage place late. Yeah. I need a massage at two a.m. At two a.m. I need a no. Massage. I went and then she 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 finished it, and I was like, damn, and and it got me out of my slump. I got I literally. Uh, got laid the next day that's how it works ray so you can pay for it and then you remember oh it's it's good when some when somebody besides my own pathetic hand touches my cock uh ray uh kevin i i just got a text message somebody wants the link who stancil i'm not doing stancil he want he has some stuff to talk to ray about not right now we'll do we'll bring him in in the second hour uh, mm -hmm. The pink blanket strangler, five euros. It was all over in four and a half minutes, but I could have sworn it was six. I kept her towel as a souvenir. <laughs> I think this is about you, Ray. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. My blanket. Have you ever done anything with? Towel. Have you done things with your blanket that you're ashamed of? Yeah. No. Like I have a really nice. Uh, uh, what, what's it called? The Comforter. Thing that yeah, comforter, but like not even just a comforter. It's like it's like the bedspread two type thing. It's uh, really high end. It was my dad's, but it's too heavy. Your dad? You, you're keeping your dad's blanket? It's a fucking really nice one, but I, I can only what the use fuck? it. How long has your dad been dead? Uh, 2008. Oh, my God, Ray. No wonder you can't get laid. You smell like your old fucking dad's <laughs> dead blanket. <laughs> But no, this uh, this one's uh, nice. It's not heavy. Uh, heavy. Gobble, gobble. Get people on who don't talk about Chad, Ray, Shuli, Kumi, or Gino. Who, who is that? Gobble, gobble. Who, who is this person? No, I'm saying, who can we get that won't talk about these people? Oh. I'm fine with not talking about these people. I got plenty. No, that's that's well, the well, show. I am Ray. I am Ray. It is I'm the sitting show. right here. So that's <laughs> the show. Gobble gobble, just being funny. But God, that's the show. Gobble gobble. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows what the show is. Now I got to find super chats with all this shit going on. A lot going on. Jack squat. Stancil says he hasn't been laid in longer than Ray has. Oh, that's what why. The I fuck, Stancil <clears throat> is a. I think he thinks him. I think he sees himself as a dwarf. He doesn't. And, no, he's just very picky. Oh, uh, he's oh, got anger well, issues. That's what Ray says. Well, he just got uh, off work from the soccer ball club. Oh, he's got some stories about the uh, comics. Yeah. Jack Squat, Ray, read this. More people called Kevin when Calta gave out his number than bought tickets to see Shuli. Hack. 
That's a yeah, fact. But it's, but it's easier to call someone's phone than it is to actually go. Wow, Ray, you, Ray, you're 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 an apologist. Well, you you, you really love to defend, don't you? You're Ray? an apologist for everybody. What do you? What's your take on Hitler? You already defended J, uh, J, uh, Jonestown and David Koresh. Now you're and drinking we can't, beer. And we can't call a dead girl a stripper. You're drinking beer out of a straw. No, that's uh, water. That's my water. That's the Are you water, water and beer at the same time. Yeah, and then I have a, a You're really going to have to piss. All right, this is a fact. Jack Squat is is 100% right. Uh more people called Kevin uh, or texted me than bought tickets to see Shuley at Side Splitters on April 13th. With Chad as the opening act. Chad's a local act at Side Splitters and nobody went to the show. So there you go, Ray. Whoa. Defend that, Ray. Ray, I got something else you could defend. A lot of people are sending me DMs. They want you to open the door that is behind you. No. no. Okay. There you go. They wanted me to ask. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Ray, read this. Room. Ray, please read this. I already laughed at it. David Skywalker. Ray, tell Eric Jane to hit me up. I'll fly to Michigan tomorrow to take on a day. <laughs> That's what she wants. She wants you to fly. She doesn't want to wait till when some. I can drive. I can, I can drive. I she can doesn't drive. want a guy driving to take her to a Cure concert. What? When's the Cure concert? In the summer? In June, yeah. That's what you I'm like, saying. She you don't... like the Cure? You like the Cure? I like the Cure. Go fuck yourself. What? Hey. That's when I when I the when you're fantastic. You like the Cure? I like the Cure. Shut the fuck up. When you meet a woman, you know what they want? They want a guy like David Skywalker. To fly there the next day, <laughs> to fly there the next day and go, I'll take you I'll t wherever you want to go, whatever Applebee's you want to go, Cracker Barrel, I don't give a fuck. Right. Money, money is no expense. Money is no whatever. What's the expression? Anyway, Ray, Ray, she doesn't want you to drive to Michigan to pick her up for the fucking stupid Cure concert. Yeah, what if Nothing. your car breaks down and you have to change a tire or something and you open up the trunk and there's a pink blanket in there? And all your other belongings. And your dead and about? your dead dad. Right. <laughs> so they keep my dad? Come on. No, it, it's, it's the blanket. It's your dad's blanket. So they're they're they go together. EGN, he's a good guy. We'll and first of all, let me just say for the record, I sent Opie the link tonight too, uh nice. on the first show, the first go round, and it didn't he didn't get back to me. So so uh, you know, I'm just saying I'm trying to get better guests. Wow. Well, first of all, that's an insult, which I understand. No, I meant no offense. No offense yeah, by yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. No, you well, guys are regular. You guys are regulars. So listening to Ray bad. makes me wish I was in a cancer ward being yelled at by that Piazza Joe instead. Ouch. That's a shot of my producer. Can mean, that somebody producer say Joe. can somebody send me the link of Joe being in a cancer ward and and uh, tag me on Twitter? Because yeah, I'm not I'm nice. not on TikTok. Ray Joe's a creep and Shuli's a creep, so good luck with that. Yeah. And and uh Levy believes everything people tell him. That's his problem. He believes when Shuley tells us something, Bob's like, Is that true? Is that true, Shuley? So he's like, Uh huh. You can trust me, Bob, just like you can trust the, the pool guy and the links, uh the guy who sent who's gonna send the links for the August nineteenth. If it comes to that, me and Ski Mask will just play fucking poker mm -hmm. at the Brigada. I already got I already got it planned. Well, the so Ski Mask Palooza will be in Atlantic City uh, uh, June 24th. So If nobody shows up on August 19th, I, I'll just play poker all night. I don't give I'll a fuck. There. We'll play at the table. I, don't give I, a... I won't be as embarrassing as I was last time. I, I don't give a fuck. No, you <laughs> don't give a fuck. You were laughing, but uh, I was being an asshole to that dealer. <laughs> no, I, I, it helped me. I know. Because uh, I'm, I'm not the biggest asshole at the table. Sure, you're the nice guy. Mason in Portland. Ray. When you would peek behind the shower curtain to look at your dad pinch a loaf, <laughs> how long would you stare? Yeah, seriously, wait, answer the question. Seconds, or... Truth or dare? Truth or dare? How long would you stare? Uh, not at all. I would immediately get out of the shower and leave because uh, it stunk. No, but you, you had to step. Up, you had to step over him, right? I had to walk by him. Yeah. And he, he was still it sitting there smoking, smoking and shitting. He's got to do what he's got to do. He's a dad with a family. He's got to go make wow. the money. Wow, I've never, I've never taken a shit where my kids were taking a shower. So I'm a dad with a family. What, what's wrong with me? 
Oh, there's a lot of things wrong with you. Come on. Yeah, I've never done that. Right, you think you're traumatized by that? No. Yeah. Big big logs or addicted to profits. Uh what's more painful? Being a patient in the cancer <laughs> ward or listening to Ray trying to tell a story about it? <laughs> Death is where they wow, wow. Shout out addicted oh, to profits, by the way. The dude's he, no, he's a legend. He's a legend. He's a legend. I'm we were deep in a Friday. The guy's fucking funny as hell. Um, he's a legend. Listen, he he comes in and he he has different names too. He doesn't fuck around. Oh, I know. He, yeah. he doesn't just have addicted to promise. He has different names too. I'm not gonna fucking out him, but. Kev, can I take a piss real quick? Of course. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I I don't even know if I completed the thought, but this is why I can't quit the fucking super chats because they always make me laugh. Like, I can't come up with this. It would be rude, but this Reverend James Jones Jonestown. Can. Jonestown. Can I get the Michigan Frauds number? <laughs> <laughs> He's not even into her. He just wants people. He just wants people in Jonestown. What? He just wants people in Jonestown. Right, right, right. right. He wants to show you how easy it is to get laid if you if you take some initiative. The guy, whoever the guy said, I'm going to fly into Michigan and, and hook up with her. He, he's not even, he's not even wrong. He could get a plane, land in whatever play. fucking shitty town she lives in. and be like, I came here to see you and she'll get naked for him. Cause he flew there. He, she's not going to, she's going to get excited. Cause that guy drove there from fucking, <laughs> I, have oh, to, I have to fly even though it's only a two hour car drive. I no, but, but if you a, I have to get on a plane, even yeah. though it just logically sense. No, uh, women like a guy who's who's like it's like all the movies yeah. where where the guy every movie is like the guy went out of his way. He rented a plane and I drive to Chicago to fly into Detroit. Yeah, like <laughs> like, like, like planes, trains, an and automobiles. Hours. Yeah, I do an extra six like, hours of driving to fly. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, Ronnie loves I'm gonna say Ray, Ray, read this. Ray lost 500 on the Lakers game, but he got back at the casino by stealing <laughs> 400 sweet and lows. Hey, that's what they do, right? They were they all with like 50 cents, so you got 200 bucks back. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I will uh, say this when I lost at the roulette table, uh, one of the times when I was doing that thing, the double down thing, which is stupid, don't ever do it. But the one time when that no, no, it was that night when I lost all that money. Where? So, Where? When uh, I was in the Bahamas. Uh, but that night when uh, I lost all my money like so quickly, I go, "You get a free drink for gambling, right?" And I made the <laughs> lady come and give me money. Oh, God, you're pathetic. I was so fucking pissed. That I lost pathetic, all right? that money that I lost like seven hundred dollars in like two minutes. Key like, mass is for you. I can barely hear the mask. Can you turn him down? That was from way <laughs> earlier today. I've been fucking with my sound, so I went into the chat. I asked if the sound was good. They said it was good. No, so. it wasn't that long ago. Yeah. It was pretty long ago. It was probably a good 20 minutes. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. I'm a little behind. <laughs> Since that to the link, Kevin. This is the last time I do the Super Chats. I'm going to pay a guy next week. Even if I take a loss, I don't give a fuck. Tell, tell the IRS. Pay me. Oh. I'll do it for you every Saturday. I'm free no, I don't every trust Saturday. You. Yeah, Chad, you Chad, tell the IRS to fucking audit me. Uh, Flavorino, it's it's my life goal to appear on MLC. Love Ray. Stancil seems like a piazza. Get him on. We're going to get him on soon. Let he's me on get the couch. caught up. Let Wait, me he's get on the couch, couch waiting. Let me get caught up. All right. a, a little bit caught up and don't get mad if i didn't read your uh this guy's uh, i want to set this guy up like johnny carson this guy's a legend and this guy's good to ray which he, which goes to show he's just he's just a good soul he helps people that are down on their luck uh vaping dago i love vaping dago here ray I have a guaranteed winner for you. Cavs in four. Can't lose. Yeah, we fucking <laughs> ass. Well, this was an old super chat. This was said months ago. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. 
Well, the Cavs suck, and they have a good team too, and they still suck. They stink. The Lakers are down. The Lakers are down three nothing to yep. Denver. Wow, They're that's done. amazing. I put five hundred dollars on the Sacramento Kings to win it all, and they blew it. That's not a bad bet though. Yeah, because you get a huge payoff if it happens. Exactly. All right, somebody read this. I got to fucking do it. Seven can host a show telling non-gamblers pointers. Gambling trips and what? What? Irish. Kev's betting show. Rest in peace, Jimmy the Greek. He just Are we died? allowed to say Jimmy the Greek without uh, getting canceled? Stop. What are you worried about canceled? You can't call people strippers and you're worried about canceled? No, no. Jimmy the Greek, Same he got $5. canceled. Thank you. He's Who the cares? first one to get canceled. Yeah, that's right. Ray's right about that. He was the first guy to get canceled for saying oh, okay. inappropriate things. What do you say? It was it was ridiculous what he said. What do you say? Repeating. Repeat it. Right? I'm not. Re- no, you can go down a YouTube rabbit hole. It was it there. was classic though. Classic. Oh. <laughs> it made no sense. It was like no, it made total sense. That's why it was classic. <laughs> it made a hundred percent sense. I was like, this guy's telling the truth. Finally, this Greek guy is. is How would he telling know that? A- no doctors know that, but he knew that. Jimmy the Greek knows what he's talking about. KB, does this mean your next guest will be a ham sandwich and a pile of dead bugs? <laughs> Ouch. My son does like ham sandwiches, so I might have a ham sandwich on. With the cheese? <laughs> no, no cheese, just ham. Oh, yeah, I don't do cheese either. No, he don't he we go to the deli, he's like, no uh no lettuce, no tomato, just ham and a roll. I love it. And no cheese, not no nothing. He's like, fuck this. I'm that like way with the sim- hot dogs too. Hot like dogs, bun. That's it. Love it. All right, I'm not doing um, two dollar ones normally, but I'm drunk and I think this guy's yeah, fine. Yeah, dude. Joe Liz said Sandler. Ray was great at the stand show. Okay. What year? What year? Yeah, when did he say it? Two Send weeks us the ago. Receipts. Send me the what, why would he? Where would he say that? Where would he say that? I don't know, but it uh, listed uh, my stand show. This is a solid uh person. He's very funny. Yeah. He's very funny and he's he's a good dude. No lips though. Like Chad. <laughs> no lips. I never knew that was a thing until Chad got involved. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> but now I've been noticing like I will be out in public <laughs> looking around. <laughs> it's a good super chat here. Bob just for men Levy. I love I love that Patrick Swayze song too, Ray. I really like to let my hair down and enjoy that fine tune, and that's a fact, truthfully. So he's saying he's saying you're a total piazza, right? I like you like that song. Everyone likes that song. What song? The she's out of my league, just a fool. I never heard it. I, She'll I, do anything for me. So wait, she's I'm supposed to I'm supposed to know that song, but you don't know the Wizard of Oz. That was in a uh, fucking Footloose. Yeah, I, didn't, I we weren't allowed to watch that. Yeah, because we were in a non-dancing town. Oh no, that dirty wasn't Footloose. That was Dirty Dancing. I take it back. Dirty. Yeah, Dirty Dancing. It was Dirty Dancing. Something you don't know how to do, Ray. <laughs> right, you read this one, Ski Mask. With the black shirt, headset, and red wine teeth, Kevin looks like one of the demons from Hellraiser Three. I really do. I look scary. <laughs> I might you looked scary store. the other night when you were really angry. Yeah, that was funny, right? That's why I was like this. Oh, yeah, that's a classic clip. we got to play that. Yeah, it's so good. No, uh, Ski Mask is just sitting there. I thought I thought it was like a Photoshop because he's just yeah, sitting yeah. there. I'm like yelling at Levy, and uh, Ski Mask just sitting there like like literally his parents are yelling, and he doesn't know what to do. And I thought it was – and then I asked Ski Mask before the show started, and he goes, yeah, that's what I was doing. I was <laughs> – I was very uncomfortable. I like how uh, Bichetti I wasn't bailed. uncomfortable. I just knew Bich- not to. Bichetti couldn't even be seen and he bailed. Bichetti's like, enough of this. <laughs> I think his mom was like, get the fuck off that stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a heart attack. But Carol on WATP uh, went over that about uh, Ski Mask just sitting there like <laughs> watching it go back and forth. Yeah, I mean, I've been listening to Kevin since episode it. one. I, I know when not to, when to shut yeah. the fuck up and just sit there. Uh, but your face like, during that whole thing, even no, with his, the Ski Mask, you could see the emotions just like. Right, his take, right. His take was unbelievable. I was like, wow, this is a fucking great take. I thought it like, I thought it was, it was such a great take. I thought it had to be fake. <laughs> So thorough, Burrow, one ninety nine. We don't read two dollars, people. Send yeah, but we read. The, we read legends Ray, like Joe Burrow. Read... 
Yeah, Joe Burrow. Uh, Ray Silver Lining Jax's OnlyFans is half price now. <laughs> wow, let's check that out. Is there new content coming out? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's check it out. Let's see what's going when on. I saw somebody sent me a picture. I was like, I thought of that Atel joke. <laughs> what was in that Atel joke? Those titties ain't retarded. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're still there. Still there to see. The Reverend James Jones, 999. Kevin is an old tired horse stumbling and fumbling like Warren Sapp on an interception. <laughs> but he's still better than the rest. Thank you, James Jones. I'll be seeing you. James Jones is good. He's a, he's a new guy. I haven't seen I'll him. be seeing you shortly. <laughs> if I was in Jonestown, I'd be like, listen, I don't know what this guy's saying. I, I, w- I definitely wouldn't have. Just end it. Just like, I don't know what you're saying, but can we end this? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have gone along with it, but I'd be like, this, I like the fact. I like this cut of this guy's jib. The fact that he got everybody else to do it, but me. I'd be like, I got to learn from this man. It's like the uh, ga- the Gavin McGinnis. You you could not agree with Gavin McGinnis. It'd be like he started the Proud Boys, and it's fucking. And when I saw, I was I was in a hotel, and I saw I saw about the Proud Boys stand by and stand back, and I was like, I was like <laughs> I used to work with this guy. I was on the same network with this guy, and I was like. I don't. I don't know if I agree with this guy. I don't know if I agree with this guy politically, but like that's a miracle to me. He got the an guy, army. The president has all the armies at his. No, in in, and he's in like the proud in the debate with Joe Biden, and it was October. We don't do I, politics on this show. I was in Baltimore. It was Baltimore, twenty twenty. I was at Louis C.K. name dropper, and I was watching the debate, and I was like, he just mentioned the Proud Boys. And and Donald Trump acknowledged it. I was like, I used to work with Gavin McGinnis at, at Camp Amida. I was like, wow, this is a great country. This is the greatest country that ever happened. The fact that that happened. And I was, I was in a hotel in Baltimore. You hear that? I might get an army. I'm working with no, I'm Kevin just, right in. I'm just I'm saying, I'm just someday. saying, I'm just saying David Koresh and, and Jonestown, they had a gift. And then they, uh, they, uh, they would, you would have sex with their wives or something. He'd be like, "Yeah, I'd have to have sex with the. You have to hand your wives over." And they were like, uh, "Okay, he, that's a lot of charisma." That's, that's a so lot cool. of charisma. Even Gavin McGinnis didn't try to pull up that trick. <laughs> uh, WW two Nuremberg trial. I have no memory of this. I think he's talking about uh, Shuley and Bob Levy. I have no memory of this. He's talking about, is he talking about Ray DeVito? What's he talking about? Same I Ranger. He's, he's talking about um, Chad when he said, I have no memory of this. Oh, oh the bet. Yeah. But he could also be talking about. It wasn't even a bet. Yeah. Now he. He could also be talking. He could also be talking about uh, Bob Levy in, in uh, Potsdam or, and or uh, Shuley anywhere. No, but we that. were talking about the Chad thing. So, I know what I it's my show. I know what we were talking about. Addicted. Uh Ray's Ray's you read this. Too many words for me. Ray's pickup Ray's pick lines. lines. Check out my bobblehead. Signed Raiders mini helmet. Pink <laughs> blanket. And to top it off, I've never made more than 30k <laughs> a year. That's Rod Martin. Three interceptions and one Super Bowl. No one's Nobody ever done God. that. In Nobody cares. Nobody cares. They beat the Eagles. Yeah, I was there. I, in 1980, I was there. All right, Ray, read this. <laughs> the pink blanket strangler. Uh, the cops came to my door. I asked, was this about the dead stripper? They said, no. We finally got those pervs who filmed your sign up. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, were you gonna were you going to report them? Uh yeah, you say you're going to call the police. <laughs> no, you cannot record comic sets. Like, I know people got in trouble. You can do whatever that. the fuck you want, Ray. Right. It's yeah. America. The, uh, yeah, Gavin McGinnis and the Proud living? Boys. Uh, Gavin McGinnis and the Proud Boys were in a fucking president, presidential debate. It's the great, greatest country that ever happened. Johnny Sack, and okay, 50. I don't know who's pinker, the ski mask for Nuke or Brennan. And Ray, keep your chin up, you crazy son of a gun. I think he's talking about your stupid chin. That all keep, men keep love. It up. 
that all Thank men you, love, Kirk. all men love, but women have no interest in. You got to buy toilet paper for that chin. What's that mean? It's a butt chin. Uh, I oh, send uh, what you say. Send what you call it the link. Stancil? Yeah, the Stancil. tiny guy. All right, let me call him. He He's already mad. Uh, he said you lost your chance, Kev. All right. Let me call him real quick. Let's see. Uh, oh. Jonestown. Hey, Pink Blanket. Think these out before you hit send. I think he's saying, like, uh, yeah, I know what he's saying. He went to bed or he's got a McDonald's. He didn't want to come on the show high. Addicted to profits. If he they said, give no, Bob it's too late, his loss. I'm already high. If they give Bob any more shows, he'll end up in that coffin with that stripper. Surely he treats Bob like the horse in Orwell's animal farm. I saw, I saw, I, I, I'm th- I was thinking the same thing. When, when Bob, when Julie took Bob to, uh, Legion of Skanks, he's like, look at my show horse with his new teeth. It was weird. It, it was fucking weird. Anyway, well, that's what Shuli does. He's like, hey, I got Bob Levy. He's going to keep talking all day. All right, I can't even read this. I, I Even with this many words, I'm too Mr. Many, Kill I'm, Everything, $10. I'm stream sniping this for a moment while playing games. Hey, Chad, pay $800, you F Chad. <laughs> Have you been enjoying pics of my lady? Kev, bring Bob back. Hey, Chad, your A must be loose in the sauna. Wow. Very uh, descriptive here. I think they're, what they're saying is, hi, Chad. Hi, Chad. Yeah. We know you're watching. Yeah, they're good eggs. Mr. Yeah. Mrs. Kill. Everything. <coughs> I'm not coughing. Uh-oh. Mr. Kill is a smart man. Uh, is that off the last uh, super chat? Mr. Kill uh, is a smart man. He's got a good lady. You got to get a good lady. That's the key. Seriously. Let me see. If I had sex with my lady today and I was like, I got to, you got to get a good lady. Hey, you lay some pipe today? Yeah, but you just got to get a good lady. Like we're, we're almost going on 20 years. So you got you to gotta get a good lady. Like Ray's afraid of his own fucking shadow. He's afraid of dead strippers. Right. Like he's Ray, literally yeah. afraid of a dead stripper. She's going to come back and haunt him. It's like, Ray, what the fuck? Go ahead, Ray. Read this. Bob's got more shows than Steve Harvey. That's a, <laughs> that's a good one, Jason. That's a... <laughs> Steve Harvey has like he's Judge Steve Harvey. He was yeah. on he was on ABC. Family. I was, I was I was trying to find the fucking uh, the basketball game the other night, and I I was looking at ABC because I thought it might be conference final, even though tonight it was on ABC. Uh, the other night it was wasn't on. I was on ESPN, so I go to ABC and they're telling me Judge Steve Harvey. I'm like, this motherfucker is not tired. Like, how much money does this <laughs> motherfucker need before well, he's it, gonna? In that, uh, what was that? What was that DVD series that came out? Uh, Kings of Comedy. Wasn't Steve Harvey like the best on that? Yeah, uh, no, that he special? was the host. He hosted. He was the okay. host. No, the guy, the guy was the best. Was the guy. Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac was like. Bernie like, Mac was the best. He headlined. Nobody could follow Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac was. Oh, okay. uh, I ain't afraid of you, motherfuckers. Bernie Mac. I ain't scared dead. of you, motherfuckers. Yeah. But Bernie Mac's a... dead. He's dead though. Right. So. That was his hamburger though. He was. He was great. No, but Bernie he, Mac. Was Bernie Mac was. Bernie Mac was fantastic. No, Bernie. Yeah, but he had that catchphrase. We go. I ain't scared of you, motherfuckers. No, that was from Def Jam that one time, yeah. and Def Jam. That was the greatest set. Stand up awesome, probably man. of all time. He's amazing. Bernie Mac. Go to than, Google uh, right now. Uh, the room. numbers might drop, but go to Google right now and go Bernie Mac, Def Jam, I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. It's, it's fucking one amazing. of the greatest. Great, and yeah. and the point the point is the reason he kept saying I'm not scared of you motherfuckers, he's from Chicago. He's in New York doing the Def Jam. The guy before him bombed, the crowd booed him. He went up there, he's basically telling the crowd, I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. I'm from South Side of Chicago. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. And then he had the DJ work it out where he would like, he would prompt him. It was fucking, it's one of the greatest sets of all time. Uh, Kevin's Piazza phone. Go ahead, uh, Ray, read it. Jesus, Ray, just stream on your own. Chewy is making a fool out of you. Yeah, that's true. You don't need Chewy. Kevin, call Stancil. 
I gotta get caught up on the super chats. It, it, I'll read them. Just send them the link. No, I gotta, I gotta put them up. We don't need Stan, so we're doing fine. Yeah, why all the drama? If he wants to come on, jump on. I'm not trying to start any drama. I hate drama. You know I hate drama. Yeah, Kevin hates drama, right? You know how I am with the ladies that I date. Like, you into this or not? If he wants to jump on, jump on. You into this? Let's do it. You want to see my bobbleheads or not? Let's do this. That we read doing? it. Read it. Super oh. chat. Levy is uh, some dude. Five dollars. Levy is not the business giant you make him out to be. He had one through the viewers earlier. Gives twenty percent to do nothing truly and gets less super chats. I don't want to read ones if it's against my. Just read it, program. Ray. I just did, you idiot. You read them. Just don't say you don't want to read it. No, yeah, if Ray. It's Ray, you're against. Oh, if shut the fuck up. Who you're cares? Network, you act like you're Bob Costas. You've been, get, dude, you've been getting <laughs> trashed on that on your own network for a full week. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, they shit on you. They they did seven hours on your stupid pink blanket. And then now you're worried about they're going to fire you. You're making more money just hanging out with me. Ray, Ray, what did I tell you to do? Stream at night. I've been doing At night. And how you been doing? Been doing good. Yeah, Thank you. You're great. welcome. You're Thank welcome. You, you're welcome. So you don't need the sh stupid Shirley network. Uh, the pink blanket strangler. I've seen my own father shit 411 <laughs> times, but haven't seen the Wizard of Oz once. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is like what I was saying earlier. I don't. Even, I don't even think I completed my thought. This is why I go to strip clubs, and this is why I do the super chat. Because I couldn't come up with this in a million years. Right. It's like I'm busy running the show. So the Super Chats come up with these fucking classics. I That's remember a funny the time. That's a funny ass joke. That's a joke. I see my father. Oh, my God. Like, I can't come up with this shit. So literally, pun intended. <laughs> and the fact that he calls himself the pink blanket strangler. He's got to bring the pink blanket into it. This guy's a pink blanket strangler. Go ahead, Ray. Major night. Yeah, go ahead, Ray. Ray can play the Scarecrow in Wizard of Oz remake singing If I Only Had a Brain. Ouch. Wow. Watch out for the flying monkeys. Ouch. Howdy, Pam. Ouch. No, you got it. Why are you reading out of order? <laughs> That's true. Ray is like the only, if I only had a brain. Uh, Ray, come on, Ray. Ray, you, you started on. the show, you started the show getting mad because we, a dead lady. Anyway, addicted. Addicted That's five dollars. The I, last time Ray saw a naked woman, Jim Brown was still playing running back for the Browns. He's talking about this nineteen sixties. Yeah, nineteen sixty four. He was. Yep. He was. He's. He hasn't played since. How many years is that? So I think what he said Say almost the last time he saw a naked woman was the day you were born. He played nine years. That's it. He yeah, but Ray, Ray, one. Ray. He's still the greatest Cleveland Brown that ever played. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not saying. This is like almost 60 years ago. He only retired. If he was on any team, he'd be the greatest player they ever had. Maybe outside <laughs> the Patriots, but put him on any other team. He and you know, you know why he quit? Player. You know why he quit? Because they wouldn't let him be in a movie. They were like, yeah, uh, no, the, the, the dirty dozen was running late. Was they, they were over, they were running behind schedule. So the, the owner, uh, Art uh what's Modell. Art yeah, Modell. Yeah. He, he said, we're gonna find him a hundred dollars for every day he's late, and he's like, "Fuck you, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm gonna." He was gonna retire after that season anyway, but just goes to show how stupid this fucking the Cleveland Browns have always been and will always continue to be. You're welcome. Thank you, addicted. Go ahead and read that. That's oh, true. Yeah, this is true. This is true. Dante um, Nero was a stripper too. Uh, but not, did, but not when he did my show. Not when he did my show. He right, was not yeah, a when he did the show, he was not a stripper. Is he mad at Gino now? I heard. Who I hope so. I'm, I'm trying to get him it? on my show next week. Who isn't? I like Dante. He's funny. Dante's a great man and a. Uh, Johnny better. Sack, NOK 50, MLC going ah. for the trifecta the pink cheeks, the ski mask, and the pink blanket. A piazza yes, sir. Or all the piazzas. I'll tune in. Thank you, Johnny Sack. Johnny Sack, good take. Good egg. Everything's pink. My face, the blanket. Mask the mask is pink for almost 200 episodes. Let's come on. If we got a $50 one. I can't get to it. I, I don't want to get too confused. Let's be clear about this. 
There's a gaping piazza with the mask on here. Bring on the potato. He's funny. They spoke. He's he wants. Who are they, who are they, ins- who are they insulting? Uh, they're making fun of ski mask on this one. Yeah, the called, potato. I'm not yeah, a fan so, of potato, yeah. and I heard the potato got weird. Right. In uh, in Pottstown. No, I saw him. He was cool. Yeah, but he, he, he was like, don't take. Too, no, he right? said, don't take a picture. Like he was ordered about taking a picture. Like anybody gives a fuck about the potato. Right. What he, he looks like a couple of times. It's like, what he looks like without his mask on. on. Right. Bob, just for men, Levy strip clubs. You get to see more pink on here than in a strip club. <laughs> just for men, just a few sprays, and you'll be looking like a Levy. <laughs> <Wonder not. laughs> How much? He's not wrong. You can see a lot of pink hair, but strip clubs are some of the greatest places on earth. It's just amazing because when you go into a strip club, you forget about everything else. Yeah, that's going on outside. Yeah, that's a great take. You forget about everything else. You don't forget. You don't remember what day it is. You, don't you, know. you just it's dark. you're just immersed in this. Like women are naked. They're naked. And there's a the bunch of them going. And- yep, and the alcohol. Yeah. I went up to. A, I told this story a million times. I went up to a DJ one time. I go. What's this song? He goes, he goes, uh, uh, Bulls on Parade or one of the Rage Against the Machine, either Killing in the Name of or Bull, Bulls on Parade. Cause I, cause it's the strippers, they, they weren't into it cause it was like a hard rock song. Right. I was like, this is the best. Cause I was drunk and I'm seeing all these naked women. I'm in a fucking ecstatic, ecstatic mood. And I'm like, What's this song? He goes, he told me what it was. The next day I bought the album. I'm like, this is the greatest song. I'm like, this is this how long ago it was, 1996. I'm like, this is the greatest song I've ever fucking heard. So to this day, probably after the show, when I'm drunk enough, I'll go, I'll go to YouTube and listen to Bulls on Parade by Rage Against the Machine. It's a fucking Bulls it's the parade. It's the greatest fucking experience. And people are like, oh, I don't go to strip clubs. I don't pay for I don't pay this. Okay, I do. Go ahead and read this. I've been to a lot of strip clubs. I'll let Ski Match. I'm going to do $5. Hollywood Casino, Toledo, Ohio odds. Ray pulling a Chad slash Bob no show or hang up. Three to one odds. (laughs) Chad committing a fake crime. Zero. Five to one odds. Bob riding the fence. One to one odds. (laughs) (laughs) Who's the? He's shitting on everybody? Kumia's in the chat, it looks like. I'm trying to. I think this is the real Kumia. Yeah, we don't know. It's too late. He's doing supers. He's doing super chat. Yeah. Then it's definitely fake. Oh, I I got to the fifty. Thank God. Oh, this guy's this guy's good too. He's been before. I think he comes oh, this, late this at night. This made me laugh earlier. Uh, Mike McInnes. Every time someone watches The Wizard of Oz synced up with Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd, a dead stripper gets their wings. <laughs> Yay, Palestine! <laughs> Thanks for taking my call. I'll hang up and listen. <laughs> yeah, Shuli's not going to like this at all. Too many, too many. Well, it's true. Yeah. People do say that uh, if you play The Wizard of Oz and start Dark Side of the Moon at the same time, it, the movie and the album sync together. Really? Yes. I, I never I, heard me that and my before. My sister tried it when we were in high school, and it, it actually works. So, so you yeah. play the whole album as you're watching the yeah, movie? You start the movie and the album at the same exact time, I'm pretty sure. Same exact time, and then as the movie's going along, the Dark Side of the Moon album, it syncs up to what's going on in the movie. Yeah, but what happens, because the movie's longer than the album, then what happens? I don't know. I never got that far. We got too high. I think that's I think that's the key. You never got that far. Right. Well, we kind of gave up on it. We were in high school. Fuck. I mean, listen, like I but said the known, other day. It's a known thing. It's like one of those. I never heard that. Know. Yeah. You never no, heard that before? Been, no, it's fantastic because I just looked this up. I'm not even a Dark Side of the Moon fan. Like, I like The Wall and uh, others. There are other stuff better. My favorite's uh, the uh, actually with David Gilmore that came out in '94, uh, Talking Heads or whatever it is. Cluster One, Cluster One. Anyway, the point is that uh, I just learned Dark Side of the Moon was on the top 200 album chart for 30 years. Yeah, uh, which is which is. You think it's impossible. You think you think it's like like it could never happen, but I guess it did. So God bless. Ray, you've Go heard ahead. that before, though, right? You you played the dark side of the moon and the Wizard of Oz at the same time. Oh yeah, people have said that. No, I don't. I I know the Wizard of Oz. I know the movie. I know all the. Okay, songs. I was just asking if you, just, if you've heard the the theory. Yeah, yeah. If, if you played yeah, the same time. I've heard that. 
Right, read this. Kevin, old person question. What's your favorite song from Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, Mine's Fluff? Great instrumental. I, I don't know is, Black Sabbath. Is that an album? Sa- Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath? I want to say so, but I don't know uh, Black Sabbath. Okay, let, I'll just tell the story. I, I don't. I'm not a Black Sabbath Send fan. Send me the link. I'm not a. <laughs> People are asking. I'm not a Black Sabbath <laughs> fan. I'm not a Black Sabbath fan, but I t- I actually said it's on Kumia. I was watching. I was watching. A, I think Michigan was playing Ohio State, <laughs> and one of the, one of the bands played the Black Sabbath song. Then Iron Man, yeah, which is a great song. Anyway, when Black Sabbath came up with that song, nobody thought a, a, a university band is going to play that at a at yeah, a yeah. football ba, game da, da, at a football da, da. game fifty years from now. But that's how classic the song is. So my it's point like was, we will rock you too. It's no, my thing. point is, my point is. Uh, 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 rap music is garbage because it's musically it's garbage. Black Sabbath people think thought back then it, they were devil worshippers and it was trash and it was garbage. And now the University of Michigan is playing it fifty years later as a in the, as a band at the at at against Ohio State. Uh, hundreds of million or uh, ten million people are watching it. So my point is. Rock music is so far superior to fucking rap music. And I know Ray's going to be like, rap music is great. Rap music sucks. It doesn't hold up. Rock music, even Black Sabbath, holds up uh, beautifully. And and don't even get me started with Led Zeppelin or something, something like that. When it came out, people were like, "Oh, it's devil worshiper music. Yes. It's this. It's yeah. so bad." You know, but they're not they're not singing any bad lyrics. Now, today's world. No, but also the, the rabbit, music musically, you know, it was uh, good. It was fantastic, and and no one, no one, no one appreciated it back then because it was all like the the lyrics and Ozzy Osbourne's a fucking bites the the head off a bat. But then fifty years later, the music holds up. On that same note, they do play that. Uh... Like Ohio State plays that uh, "Hang On, Sloopy, Sloopy, Hang On." Like that's like their song. So that's that's from that's from Snoopy. No, uh, you know that song. Snoopy. "Hang On, Sloopy." Snoopy. That's a hip hop song. No, it's like an old song from the '60s. Okay, I'm talking about. I, I just made a point. It rock, rock, rock music Ohio is State song. Yeah. Okay, I'm not saying that. I'm saying rap music it sucks compared to compared to rock music. Even a rock music that was discredited. Years ago, and they'll ne- they're not going to play rap music in, in a in a in a in a band in a in a college band fifty years from now. No, they are do, you gonna, the, are you the Brooklyn play rap Nets do that. What are you talking about? The Brooklyn Nets when they come out is the Jay Z song, like "Bring Them Out, Bring Them Out." And yeah, because yeah, he he, own, band. he owns the Brooklyn playing. Nets, and it's not a band playing it at a fucking outdoor stadium, and the band's playing it. The band you're right. Band had a band band music. Can't... Yeah, a band cannot play rap music. So yes, if you want to get no, because rap music all. sucks, it's all garbage. <laughs> unless unless you held a big bass, play. unless you held a big bass speaker up to a tuba or something, it's not going to work. You're going to bring Biggie Smalls back? Right. That's the only great. That's the only great song is that Biggie Smalls. That's the only song that everybody plays and everybody loves. I Who's did that? a joke about that. In my it's Biggie Smalls. Oh, that's the only the, whatever that song is that Biggie Smalls made famous. That's the only really great song that holds up. Juicy. Yeah, Ray, a lot of and people are don't saying know, that you have people tied know. up in that closet. Ski mask, this isn't your show. It, right, somebody's got to read this. Ray. There's no way I'm reading this. There's right, too many it's, words. It's you, Ski mask. Hey, KB, thanks for being here. Ray, I need to know, was stripping part of her comedy act or was comedy part of her stripping act? <laughs> Surely was responsible for the AC show not happening. Uh, truthfully, yeah. I mean, does she get into comedy uh, because she was stripping or... No, you know all the um, no, she, no, she liked to, the, and then she got in the I never saw her do stand up. I never saw, I always saw her at the stand, but I never saw her do stand up, right? Exactly. So, I don't know. Listen, man, people you people see know. a girl with nice tits, you 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 assume the worst. Oh, shit, Anthony Kumi is here. I told you, two dollars, man, two dollars, 50 more yeah, of these, on, and it's a week's pay. Love the show. <laughs> <laughs> Send him the link. 
I'm not sending anybody the link. I'm not sending anybody the link. First of all, it's fake. Second of all, second of all, he's right. I don't think 50, it is because I lo- I clicked on it a second ago. Fifty more of these, and and yeah, so send fifty more of these, and I'll send him the link. Dude, he loves you, man. He likes you a lot. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> all right, all right.